most of my drawers are bought from Ikea. They're actually crates, wooden crates that you would just put stuff in, I guess. I like the way they looked. They were a very good price. And I actually built the shelves and the spaces measuring around these crates so that way they fit perfectly. There's a different kind of crate in one of the slots only because behind it, it's a little bit shorter. That's why I couldn't fit one of the bigger Ikea crates, which turned out perfectly because it's my really fast reach kind of fruit basket, if you call it, slash coffee cups. I'm sure you've seen many van builds. People have like latches for their drawers so they don't fall out. That's the whole point of this video. I opted to go with this aluminum lip that I just drilled at the edges. If I drive, it never happened where drawers come out. I do lose a little bit of space because I have to lift them to be able to pull out the drawer. That's the only downside. I did measure and I was okay with the little space that I lose on top of each drawer. The drawers underneath the bed, they're actually held in place by the laminate floor planks because I only have the laminate where the living area is. The rest is actually just plywood. <laughs> so I have a little better space where it keeps those drawers in place. Never had a problem with that either. It's an easy solution for me to not have a complicated system like latches that eventually might break that I've seen in other van builds. They're expensive and they're not much easier to install than my system. It's worked for the past two years, I think. Close to that. Underneath the sink, I have the seven gallon water jug, which is held in place by a ratchet strap. That's worked pretty good so far. I've never had any problems. And the ratchet strap itself is screwed into the wood wall. It worked just fine. Again, a simple system. Rather than have these complicated drawers to pull it out or like latch it in. That's been working really well for me. Again, a simple solution. The door that is in front of it, it does have two of the latches that like hold in place. However, the door doesn't hold anything back. It's just the door itself. And it's never come loose or it's never come open when I drive. Keep in mind, it's a van. I don't drive very fast or I don't take corners like a mania. I take corners with the van as my house. <laughs> The side door table and drawers and all that stuff is actually a very interesting design. I'm very proud of it because I kind of came up with it myself. I've seen something like that at Sportsmobile and that's a little bit more intricate than my design. The drawer with the table when I close the van, it sits next to me and next to the bed, which acts like a perfect night table. And the soft wall that I have attached to where the window is, that also acts like a nightstand pen holder and book holder and whatever you want to call it. All the small things they would normally put on a night table or a drawer inside. I have a big bottom drawer just like the crates that I have on the side or in the table here but it goes in the other way like sideways. That is held in place by this table that actually comes out that I can only use outside which is fine because otherwise I would just it's just opens on the floor so it's not usable. It does hold that drawer in place and above that I have another aluminum lid that holds the smaller drawers in place and because they're smaller drawers in that space that I would use to like lift them up and pull them out I have my cutting board which fits perfectly so that way they're compressed they never pop out so I do have to take the cutting board out but usually I take it out because I need to reach stuff that I will be cooking with anyway and then to latch that door is the system that I'm proud of I just have this rope that has like a knob on top, attach that there, and that holds in place the whole thing. On the subject of that area of the door, I have this bucket, emergency number two bucket. It's basically just a plastic bucket with like a toilet seat on top. I put it into a like a laundry bag, which makes it look a lot nicer than it did because it's blue and eh, it doesn't look very good. It fits really well, and then this has 
these handles and I attach one of the handles on the door rope with a carabiner and when I drive it doesn't move around it doesn't shift around and it's actually worked pretty well so far as well again a simple solution super easy latch in latch out I have a list on my phone of all the things that I need to do sometimes I don't follow it and sometimes I do forget some things like that I do forget back to the side door pocket so both doors have these soft wall pockets that I installed and I really love one of them is like I said just kind of miscellaneous pens a little notebook and some extra batteries the other one serves as my kitchen utensil door and it it works really well because when I'm outside cooking, I can just grab whatever I need. And also when I'm inside and the door is closed, I can just turn around and grab what I need. However, these doors do have a design flaw. At the end of the day, they are doors and I have to slam them pretty hard to be able to actually close them correctly. Pretty hard in a way where like things will probably fall out one or two items because they're doors that's gonna happen however I really like the use of space that I created with them so I deal with it <laughs> but it's the fun of van life guys nothing's perfect it's simple it works you know once in a while stuff goes wrong like anything else for the most part it's it's fine my fridge that I bought luckily fits between my two front seats and it's a nice enough snug fit where it doesn't move too much it just has like very little space between the armrests it's got enough space for me to actually open the latch and enjoy a beverage when i drive on top of that because it sits right next to the dash or the dock house they call it in these vans if i were to break hard it, you know it wouldn't go anywhere and the same thing on the side if I take harsher turns which I don't but if I were to then it holds the fridge in place and for the fridge to come back as a safety my van's not that fast it's never happened when I hit the gas and the the fridge goes flying back <laughs> I don't race the van on the streets or anything like that and even if I tried it would just make noise and nothing else I just keep it to where it's happy and because of that the fridge never has come back down like if I were to accelerate fast another two items that I love to secure and I'm happy that I take care of that is my two oil bottles one of them is extra virgin olive oil just for like in the summer and salad the other one is my avocado oil which I use for cooking and everything else a little metal basket I installed it in such a way where it's off to the side and it doesn't protrude with the, the other spice rack that I have because of that I can add longer bottles which is what I wanted to do and it's usually olive oil bottles or oil bottles because they never make small ones for a good price to secure it I have the wooden plates in front of it I have another spicy sauce next to it and I have dish towel that I use to wipe down the dishes and that creates a very nice snug fit and for one of the bottles I have one of those coffee sleeves because they're against each other they don't hit each other too much these are all the safety measures that I take when I go on trips or I just drive around town go camping wherever it is check out this video up here if you want to see more van life related content this was a short one for me today but hopefully take away some good advice if not thank you for watching anyway and I will see you in the next one